Hi everyone, welcome to Fintech Academy. This is Hirsch. Today I will go over the T2 Corporation Income Tax Return Form and its 12 sections. All right, let's get started. T2 Corporation Income Tax Return Form Layout. Let's have a look at that. Corporations must pay income taxes on their earnings just like individual tax filers must. The Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has created the T2 Corporation Income Tax Return for corporations to fill out in order to file their taxes. This form serves as a federal, provincial, and territorial corporation income tax return unless the corporation is located in Quebec or Alberta. If the corporation is located in one of these provinces, you have to file a separate provincial corporation return. So these two provinces have their own uh, corporation returns. The T2 jacket, also known as Schedule 200, summarizes the essential information that all corporations must report, a nine-page return divided in 12 sections. All right, let's understand the 12 sections. So first we start with the identification. Next comes uh, the attachments that we need to. Uh, following with that will be additional information. Number four is taxable income. Number five is small business deduction. Number six is general tax reduction. Number seven is refundable portion of part one tax. Number eight is refundable dividend tax on hand, RDTOH. The number nine is dividend refund, if any. Number 10 is part one tax. Number 11 is summary of tax and credits. And number 12, which is the last one, is certification. Let's have a look in for the detail on each of these sections. All right, so the first one is identification and other information. So the T2 form asks for a great deal of information about your corporation from its business number to the location of the corporation's books and records. Also provide accurate information including legal name, provincial jurisdiction, type of corporation, head office address, signing officer and contact person. Boxes 001 to 085 relate to identification. Right, guys, so we can see over here, uh, this is the T2 Corporation income tax return, and this is the area of identification. A ton of information needs to be provided through these boxes over, over here. Of course, they are more of kind of check boxes, right? And uh, once you provide that information, thereafter, we go to the um, section two or the next section after that, which is about attachments. So what is in there? This section asks a series of questions if you answered yes, you will need to include an additional schedule for the tax return. Several of the questions ask about claims for tax credits the corporation may be making for the year. For most corporations, there are several schedules that are, that are added with the return. All corporations will have a Schedule 100 and 125 for the balance sheet and income statement and mostly a Schedule 50 for the shareholder information. So right over here, these are the attachments, right? And um, of course, uh, they are quite in detail and there are a ton of those over here. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to go through and explain those 12 sections. But most common things, whatever has been checkmarked over here, you will have to attach a schedule for that, i.e. like, you know, is there is there, is there associated CCPC, meaning to say like a Canadian controlled private corporation, is it associated or if it is um, having any kind of investment uh, uh, credit over here, you will be able to see that as well, as well as you will be able to see a lot of other uh, different kind of questions which are related to the organization or the company that you are filing the taxes for. So for example, if you're claiming any type of losses, then you'll have to put an attachment for that as well. So, you know, um, of course, uh, T2 is quite in detail, but this is one of the sections which will decide that how your uh, tax return will be, will be going through, how much complicated or how, how much simple it will be. Probably you're gonna make that call in this section of attachments. 
Right, let's look at the next one, which is the, the section thir three, which is additional information. Here, the CRA asks for other information, including what the corporation produces or provides and what percentage of the revenue each product or services represent. Boxes 272 to 295 relate to additional information. So basically, you're going to mention over here, like, you know, whether the corporation is uh, doing or manufacturing goods and if they are then what is it about that's what you're going to put in over here if they are providing services um, yes no whatever it is and you're going to put a percentage of there and there are some other uh, questions which may need to be an answered like you know ifrs was it was it uh, followed to be filed yes no all those kind of things over here in section three all right, section four is about taxable income. This is the income section of the T2, which includes information from several of the initial attached schedules. Boxes 300 to 370 relate to taxable income. So over here, you will be able to see that, you know, uh, your schedule one, your schedule two, your schedule four, all of those will come and sit over here, um, the, the Jiffy statements and all the stuff. Uh, of course, a very, very important part because this is going to talk about your taxable income. Uh, in my future video tutorial, I'll make a, a video tutorial on the Jiffy statements, what it is, so you'll have a better understanding on that part. Of course, in the course that we go through for the Income Tax T2, we cover and we put in with examples and prepare the Jiffy statements as well. All right, the next one, which is the Section 5, Small Business Deduction. Those con Canadian controlled private corporations which are small businesses can claim a deduction in this section, whether or not they are associated. Boxes 400 to 515 relate to small business deduction. So guys, this is the section about small business deductions and of course, um, the information about that uh, 500,000, that is the limit you will see over here, that uh, that portion has to be mentioned over here. Now, if you're gonna use a software and most of the times uh, it, the preparers do, right, then you'll see this information and a lot of other stuff popping up uh, automatically even in the previous sections, right, like attachments and all the stuff you don't have to do manually a lot of things uh, in my next future video tutorial I will be showing this uh, same thing uh, preparing the form hands-on so you'll have a better uh, understanding on how all these details get put in Right, so next is a uh, general tax uh, reduction. These two additional sections of tax deductions are also for Canadian controlled private corporation and non-CCPCs. Box four, uh, boxes 432 to 434 relate to general tax reduction. Right, so this uh, particular section is divided in two sections. One is uh, the general tax reduction for CCPCs and one is just the general tax reductions for anyone else apart from the CCPC that goes over here. Right, the next is refundable portion of part one tax. You may be able to recover part of the tax paid investment income here. Boxes 440, 445, and 450 relate to refundable portion of part one tax. So basically this is the refundable portion of part one tax area. If you are a CCPC throughout the tax year, then all your calculations will be shown in this area. Next comes refundable dividend tax on hand, RDTOH. This is income earned uh, from passive investments. Boxes 460, 465, 480, and 485 relate to refundable dividend tax on hand for tax years before 2019. Boxes 460, 465, 480, 520, and 530 relate to refundable dividend tax on hand for tax years after 2018. Basically, the, the difference is because uh, in these boxes over here, because after uh, 2018, the uh, ERDTOH and NERDTOH, which uh, generally they are called as ERDTO and NERDTO, that was uh, introduced. So previously, it used to be just RDTOH, which is refundable tax on uh, dividend, uh, refundable dividend tax on 
hand, which is our DTOH, and then it was divided into eligible refundable dividend tax on hand and non eligible divi uh, refundable dividend tax on hand, which is the ERT2 and NERT2. Of course, a little bit complex uh, topic on this area over here, right? Um, and if you do have to do the calculations on that, then um, you got to be make sure that you have understanding on this ERT2 and NERT2 um, portion of the, the dividend tax on hand. Right, the next section is dividend refund. If you paid shareholders, you may be able to get a dividend refund in this section. There are no box numbers for dividend refund as it's based on certain previous boxes. So basically this dividend refund again is connected to the previous one like ERT2 and NERT2. If any of the dividends have been paid to the shareholders, then yes, there is a chance of a refund and that's what the calculations will be shown over here for you. Right, next appears is the part one tax. This is the calculation of the basic tax. The schedules you attach in an earlier step may modify this amount. Boxes 550 to 652 relate to part one tax. So basically here you're gonna find out how much is the part one tax payable with all the details that will be showing up uh, right from the CCPC, uh, the part of the investment income and thereafter deductions about the small business de deductions and then federal tax abatement and then the type of industry about manufacturing and processing M&P if there is any. So this is your part one tax uh, payable that's gonna show over here. The next is summary of tax and credit. So this is a straightforward summary of the rest of the document. Boxes 700 to 890 relate to summary of tax and credit. So this is uh, the summary of your corporation, uh, part one tax, part three, four, six, whatever is applicable, you will be able to see over here. And if there is any deductions or other credits that will be shown, ultimately is there a refund or are you gonna pay that amount? So it's a summary of uh, finally where you stand with the corporation over here. The last section is a certification. Someone of the position, officer or rank in the company must certify the information and the return is correct. Boxes 950 to 959 relate to certification. So basically the first name, last name, position and the signature of the signing officer of the corporation, that's what will go over here and that will complete the 12 sections uh, summarized of the T2 corporation income tax return form. Alright guys, so if you found this video helpful, please like our video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Also let me know in comments what would you like to see in future videos, i.e. Hirsch, I want to see this video or Hirsch, can you make a video on this topic? For accounting and bookkeeping, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online, Microsoft Excel, Canadian Income Tax T1, Canadian Income Tax T2 or Canadian Payroll. Alternatively, you can visit us at fintechsolutions.ca for our courses. Thanks for watching.